Hey, what's up guys? Hopefully you're having a great day today. Thank you so much for jumping on. I wanna go over my, uh, my cheat sheet about the branding and what we do online with our business. These are the exact steps that we take for our business. Um, I'll send it to you guys if you send me a message. The last time I went over was uh, websites and how I get traffic to my site. So number one, YouTube and my videos. Videos and YouTube is what I get people, how I get them to my site. Um, number two is blogs, so content, sharing it on social media, on LinkedIn. And then number three is actually LinkedIn because that's where we get most of our clients from. Uh, how's it going, Christine? Good to see you on here. So we go on to LinkedIn, we share our blogs, we share our videos, and that's how we get the majority of our clients. That was number one. Today I wanna go over my social media strategy. This is the exact strategy that I use uh, for my business, and I will share it with you guys. I will also send you this cheat sheet that um, you guys can use. Write it down with me. Um, so the top one's all about the website, second one's social media, and then the third is actually the video branding. What's up, Steven? Hope you're doing good. Um, so how, did I get here, right? So actually through two successful businesses, but most importantly, two failed businesses. I failed on two businesses. I tried to go out there and brand myself, get the business out there and nothing. Why? Because I focused around myself, my brand and my business. And actually nobody cares. You have to make it all around your clients. So if you have a fitness business, a health business, it needs to be about your clients, what their goals are, and what they're looking for. That's what your content should be about. Whether it's the website, the social media, or your videos that you're doing, it needs to be about the clients. So my number one way for that is go and get common questions. So when I had my fitness business, um, I would train clients all week, but they would ask me questions all week also. So I use those questions as content. So let's say on Monday morning, I had a client say, hey, on Sunday, um, I was going out to eat. I'm not really sure what I should have eaten. So on Friday, I scheduled the day that I'm doing my content. I remember Monday morning, I wrote it down. One of my clients had a question about what they should eat on a Sunday night to prepare them for the workouts on Monday morning. So that's what my content was about. I made the videos about that. I made the blogs about that. I posted about it. Um, I talked about it on, online. What's up, Tom? Yep, nobody cares about me or the business. They need their own questions answered. They care about themselves and what they're looking for, but most importantly, what's gonna help them. So two failed businesses because it was focused around me. Successful businesses when I was focused around the client. So when you're thinking about social media, my top three, if you guys can see this, give me a thumbs up. Hopefully you can. And I'll, if you send me a message, I'll, I'll send this to you and you can print it off also. Every, every week I try to go over a new category. So my number one's Facebook. Obviously I'm doing a Facebook Live right now, but I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna share it in my stories. Um, I'm gonna share it on my business page and then I'm going to break it up in pieces and I'm gonna put it on Instagram. And then I have a, my audio recording right here. If you guys can see that, recording this whole thing. Um, and I'm gonna put it on YouTube next. So now I have this video. I can use it on all the social media channels. And um, most importantly, I'm talking about something that can help you. So when you're talking about your clients in the health industry especially, come on, do a video, do a Facebook Live, um, do Instagram stories, those are really working well, about common questions your customers are asking and make it all about them, talk about your clients, talk about how great they're doing, feature them, talk about the testimonials, make it all about them, and that's when you're really gonna see the benefit from the social media. Um, let's see here, Messenger is my number two here. So think about where you guys are at. Where are you spending the most time? Do you think your ideal customers are on Facebook or Instagram right now? And in the health industry, that's probably the top two is uh, Facebook and Instagram. You also have YouTube that you can share your information on also. So if the majority of your clients are on Facebook, scrolling through their feeds, they're not looking for your business. They don't really care about your business. But if they come across something that maybe that they've been thinking about all week or something that's answering a common question, um, or showing someone just like them that have seen great results working with you. That's what will stop them. So as somebody scrolling you through Facebook, I'm only gonna stop. Think about yourself too. When do you stop on a video or a post and actually read it or take some sort of action? It has to stop you. It has to mentally stop you and make it all about yourself. Um, so, and that's where these social media stories actually come in. So Facebook, Make it interesting, make it stick out to the person. Then Messenger, so you can actually take your post on Facebook 
And if someone leaves a comment on there, you can actually send them an automated Facebook message. Um, obviously, then let me know if you guys need help with this. But now you're bringing the conversation to this. So you've stopped them mid-scroll, scrolling through Facebook. I see this video, I stop, catches my attention. Maybe it's about uh, somebody losing 20 pounds working with you. Now you can say, leave a comment below and we will help you lose 20 pounds also. So they leave a comment below and you send them an automated Facebook message. Now that's where social media really comes in, is the messaging communication. It's not about your post, it's not about this video. What it's about is you guys sending me a message right now on my Facebook Messenger requesting this cheat sheet and then us continuing the conversation. So how can you have your clients that are scrolling through social media stop, send you a message, send you a comment, and start communicating back and forth. And that's why I put Messenger as number two. So I start it with my posts, stopping people mid, mid story, mid swipe, sending it to Messenger, building a relationship with them, continuing the relationship, and then I follow up with them on YouTube videos. Um, that would be my third one. Also Instagram stories, um, I didn't put it in here, but I do Instagram stories also. So how can you use this for your business? Um, make it all about the clients you have. If you use that same content about clients you already have, new clients will see that. So just like I said earlier, if you have someone that lost some weight, make your post your whole week about that person. Do a before and after, do a testimonial, talk about them. Even go into a full video about how they actually got there. Hey Kelly, how's it going? Um, so if you make that all about that client, other clients will see it. And most importantly, if you tag that client in your social media post, their friends are gonna see that tag. They're gonna see your business tagging their friend, talking about them. They're gonna click on it and wanna learn more. So I wanna encourage you guys to really use social media to make it about your clients. Make your content about your, your customers and then their friends and family will see that and that's how, how they will sign up. And so if you guys want this cheat sheet, uh, we've done the first one already about the websites, um, getting people to your website using uh, videos, uh, LinkedIn and blogs. Today we're talking about social media. We personally use Facebook, um, Messenger and YouTube. And most importantly, if you're in the health industry, use Instagram also, use the stories, just build content around your clients and you'll see people start reaching out to you. Um, last call of action, leave a comment below and then I will send you guys more information about the cheat sheet and also how to use Facebook Messenger for your business. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're gonna see this video now in the stories, on YouTube and on Instagram. So try to take what I'm doing, copy it, use it for your business because it's definitely working. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will talk to you later.